I keep doing it. I keep, you know what? That's just how the videos start now. They just start with a, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your one of the Beach Shine and today, alpha males. We all want to be an uh, alpha male. We all want to have women flock towards us like some twisted cult leader. So today we are going to check out 12 habits of alpha males. I want to learn how to be a proper alpha male. I want to learn how to have those women flock towards me, just walk into a room and exude that top energy and just get laid constantly. So, let's just get right into the video. Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Thing. Hi. Today we're going to learn about 12 subtle habits of alpha males. Now let's begin. Number one, social rankings. Hierarchies are fundamental to our social world. There are hierarchies in the workplace. Hierarchies in friend groups, families, and even... What fucking friend group do you have a hierarchy in? What? Hold, hold up, what? I don't have many friends, but I'm pretty sure the small group of friends I do have were all equals. At least we all treat each other as equals. Sure, some may make more money, some may, you know, do other, other stuff, but like... Pretty sure we all treat each other as equals. I don't think there's any hierarchy there. If there's a hierarchy in your friend group, there's something wrong. Number two, proving nothing. Because alpha males are not violent or aggressive. They don't compete with other males for dominance because that's not what it means to be an alpha male. It's not what it means to be a male. I don't, even if you didn't identify as a alpha male, why are you violently fighting people? What, huh? What the fuck are you talking about? Instead, alphas are calm, considerate, and dependable figures who take responsibility for the safety and happiness of the people they love. Isn't that just being a decent human being? I don't, I don't think it has anything to do with being some fantastic alpha male. I just think that that's just being a good person. They're not interested in showing off their strength or vying for dominance because an alpha male has nothing to prove. That's how you know all these YouTube flexors are not alpha males. Number three, active leadership. An alpha is rarely recognized out loud by themselves or other people. No one gives you a crown for standing at the top of your social hierarchy. Actually, depending on what country you're in, you would receive a crown for being on top of a social hierarchy. Alpha males don't need someone else to recognize their leadership. When there's a choice to be made, he makes it. When there's a problem to be solved, he solves it. So he's a person. That, that, that's what you're telling me. He's a fucking person. When a decision needs to be made, he makes it. When there's a problem, he solves it. So he's human. He, he's a human being. That's what you tell. Shit, I got all the alpha male qualities then. An alpha male assumes the weight of those responsibilities because he's the unspoken leader of his social circle. I don't think you need to be a leader in order to make decisions, nor do I think you need to be a leader to have responsibility in your life. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Number four, earning respect. Again natural human thing you must earn respect in this life what what is this video what are you talking about my guy there's a big difference between demanding respect and earning respect he's got me there the people there are plenty of people that don't seem to understand that difference between demanding and earning respect you probably should know the difference because there is no situation where you have the authority to demand respect. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. You don't demand respect. You have to earn it, regardless of who you are. There are many ways to command the respect of your social circle. You might be successful, passionate, or ambitious. Being successful does not command respect. I'm just going to put that out there. You being successful does not mean I have to respect you. 
You might be kind, generous, and caring. Kind, generous, and caring probably would give you respect. But generally, if you want to earn people's respect, then you need to follow through. You set goals for yourself and you work hard to accomplish them. You do that and you'll earn their respect without even trying. I feel like that's more of how to respect yourself. I don't think anyone really gives a shit if you follow your dreams. As long as you're not some deadbeat, I really don't think anyone gives a shit about the goals you set for yourself. Maybe that's just me. I don't think I give a shit. If someone tells me that they have a goal, like a New Year's resolution and they don't follow through with it, I, I don't think I'm gonna care. Like, I'm not gonna respect you anymore just because you, oh, you, you managed to achieve your goal. Great, like, I'll, I'll, fantastic, I'll give you props, but I don't think it's gonna make me respect you anymore. Maybe, I, I guess it depends on the goal, right? I, I suppose at the end of the day, it depends on what that goal is. But if it's something really simple, then it's like, whatever, right? I don't know, let's just continue. Number five, emotional control. Despite popular stereotypes, alpha males rarely raise their voice. This nigga never been on TikTok before. <laughs> Number six, confident refusal. Alpha males aren't afraid to say no. Most people feel guilty or embarrassed saying no, but an alpha male confidently decides whether or not they want to do something. Shit, you got me there, son of a bitch. Number seven, self-reliance. Alpha males rarely ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, but alpha males prefer to solve problems on their own. So they're introverts. <laughs> That, that, doesn't, that doesn't scream alpha male to me. That screams introvert to me. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. To me, that just says in order to be an alpha male, you have to be some fucking twisted introvert. They want to grow. They want to get stronger, smarter, and more capable, even if that means failing in the process. You can do all of that. You can grow, you can find success, and you can fail with other people's help. I don't know why doing things on your own inherently makes you an alpha male when you could find the same level of success or failure with other Now don't be surprised if an alpha male never asks for help. Even if you offer, they'll likely turn you down because alphas confront their problems all on their own. They're fucking introverts. That's what, they're fucking introverts. Number eight, personal opinions. Beta males obsess over other people's opinions, but alpha males don't care what other people think. So basically not being self-conscious makes you an alpha male. He doesn't need someone else to give their approval. He doesn't pay attention to trends, fads, and social norms because he has his own idea of what's cool and what isn't. Shit, it took us seven minutes into this video, but I finally have a decent alpha male trait. Let's go. Number nine, expecting success. No one, no one should expect success. All right. Expecting success is a one way ticket to disappointment because you have no idea whether or not you're going to be successful in life. You could have every, you could think you have everything going for you and then be the homeless guy asking for money, all right? Never expect anything in life. It's one thing to be confident. It's another thing to genuinely expect shit to go right for you. Don't ever expect anything. But most people can't think, work, and persevere like alpha males. To think as hard. How the fuck, how do you think harder than someone? What the hell does that even mean? All right, this video is getting a little bit long. So if you want me to go over the last six habits for alpha, six habits, we were on number nine. If you want me to go over the last three and then check out something else, I guess, uh, there's this video sitting right next to it called 15 signs you're an alpha male. So if you want me to go over the last three uh, habits and then a, a few signs, 
that you're an alpha male. Let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.